What's up? What's going on? Red Nation Blogger here with another video. Again, positive vibes. Positive vibes. And I mean that. I mean it. The Houston Rockets got their fourth win of the season. They improved to two and five at home. They beat an Atlanta Hawks team that was just making themselves a little bit too comfortable in the Toyota Center. They was clowning. They were dancing. DeJounte Murray was trying to, you know, laugh on the sidelines. Trey Young was dancing, shimmying. And Jabari Smith and Jalen Green and Kevin Porter Jr., they took exception to that on the court. Jabari Smith waving his fingers in DeJounte Murray's face. Jabari Smith is 19 years old. He waving his hand saying, don't be doing all that. You're doing too much. This is not the summer league. This is not them pro-ams in the offseason when you was clowning and showing your, fat, showing your ass. This is the NBA. And the Rockets humbled the, the Atlanta Hawks tonight. The Atlanta Hawks are a very good team. They're top three, top four in their Eastern Conference. I know it's early, but they're going to be there for probably the majority of the season. And how often does a team surrender 89, 85 points to two players, turn over the ball 20 plus times, find themselves down as much as 18 points throughout the course of the game and come back and win? How many times does that happen? How many times do we see things like this happening? Hardly ever. And that happened tonight for the Houston Rockets. This team is young. This team is going to do idiotic things some nights. But at the end of the day, I love the way that they play. They play hard. They go out there and they get it. They bring the lunch pail to work and the hard hat. And they go out there and get it. Jabari Smith, 21 points, back-to-back uh, -back 20 point games. Uh, career high five three pointers made five of eleven from three. Uh, Kenya Martin twenty one and fifteen, very unsung plus eight. Kevin Porter Jr. twelve and ten. Um, eh, if he shoot tonight, Jalen Green was superb ten and seventeen from the field. Um, thirty points, five assists, five boards. Uh, fouled out. That's bad, but Trey Young went on a flopping spree at the end of that game. I mean, when the game got tight and buckets were hard to get by, Trey Young was going to the rim, falling down, going to the line. And both times that he did that, he made one of two free throws because that's what happens when you do that. The basketball guys don't like ugly. Tonight, I want to give a special shout out to a player that has not gotten a shout out from me this season, Garrison Matthews. Everybody, every, every day, every game, trade him. Trade him, wave him, get rid of him. He shouldn't be playing over this guy. He shouldn't be playing over that guy. Tonight, Garrison Matthews earned every single minute. And defensively, he really, really showed what he could do for this team. He was on time in the passing lane, still in passes, getting downhill, going, trying to finish, going to the free throw line, three or five from the three point line, um, nine and nine from the, uh, nine and nine from the free throw line, three or five from three. I'm sorry. 20 points, four rebounds, two with steals. He was a plus five. Another guy that I want to give a shout out to, Dacia Nix. Dacia Nix is, again, another guy that's always on the trade table for the Houston Rockets fans. A lot, he's always in the spaces. People are really hard on him, but Nix has something in that point guard position. He has a certain type of control at that when he gets minutes. Sometimes he's going to go out there, he's going to make mistakes. He had three turnovers. He had more turnovers than assists tonight, but it didn't feel that way. When he was in the game, you could tell that 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 the pendulum was swinging that the Rockets were minin, winning those minutes. He was a plus eight. Josh Christopher, man, look, I want to be positive. I want to be positive. Josh Christopher, minus 10, zero points, uh, zero field goal attempts, zero, like just zeros across the board, one turnover. He is in his head. He is in his head. But we're not going to lose him. We're not going to give up on Josh Christopher. He's a young player, sophomore slumping right now. We're not going to give up on him. He's going to bounce back, and he's going to show us this season. He's going to win us a game this year. Um, Bruno Fernando, first game back, he was not good. He was a minus 15, um, seven points. Uh, he did a lot of nothing, man. He did a lot of nothing to me. I mean, he was kind of on the glass a little bit, but he did a lot of nothing. It was his first game back. I give him some grace on that. Um... But, yeah, man, I, I I like this Rockets team, man. I mean, I know the next video that they do something boneheaded, I'm going to be on here complaining. I'm going to be on here saying Kevin Porter Jr. not beating the allegations. I know I've been that person this entire season. But, I mean, tonight, 
They fought hard. They went down. They got punched really hard. They went down, almost got a 10 count. They woke back up like the Undertaker, and they came, and they took this game back at home, and they gave the fans something to cheer about. And I just want to tell Trey Young and DeJounte Murray, you are on notice. Stop celebrating until the game is over. And the, I saw a stat on Twitter that said in the fourth quarter, the Hawks were 4-14 from the field. They only had one team assist. DeJounte Murray and Trey Young tried to ISO us. You playing right into our hands. You playing right into our hands. DeJounte Murray had a good night, eight three-pointers made, but you played into our hands in the fourth quarter, and that's what happens. That's how we won the game. Um, anyways, as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about the, tonight's game in the comments below. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Red Nation Blogger out.